Hello guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to use the program MineEdit which is basically uh, editing software for Minecraft maps uh, yeah, Minecraft worlds, maps, whatever so you can edit almost everything, no, I think you can edit everything you can also edit the content in boxes, like if you have a wooden box you can change the content of that box and also the quantity of the items that are in the box so yeah if you have like 5 wood you can change that to 25 or 1 wood if you want to let's open up something let's open up test server okay so this is what the hell okay this is quite a random server uh, there's nothing really here except for this land of nothingness but yeah still I'm just going to show you how to use these tools. So, so the first tool you have is the select tool. You just drag over where you want to select something. You can drag every box, every side I mean, to the left and right. Or up and down depending on which line you got. Uh, you can easily just do like this and press delete. To wait, let's do like that. Delete to delete the box. So, um, now you deleted the boxes. You can also do like this and take fill. Let's take stone and fill. Now you fill the place which I just removed everything from. Okay. So next tool is the brush tool. Now basically this makes you can change the uh, the values here to make this block look look kind of in other ways yeah I don't haven't really used this because I find it's quite hard I think it, it does though create a quite I mean natural yeah natural yeah in Minecraft it does though create a quite natural Minecraft layout I think that you, if I change the number here to like 5 then you see you get the uh, width is 5 now that are free so yeah that's basically what you do and yeah uh, you can also replace stuff and yeah it's kinda nice okay next thing is clone and this is really cool thing I don't wanna clone that no wait first you select something to clone of course I wanna clone I want to clone this part here. Then I press clone, and now I can paste this anywhere I want. Clone, and yeah, that's basically it. Now we're gonna t uh, take a look at this tool, fill and replace. So basically, this is quite easy tool. You see here, here we got dirt and we got stone. So what I want to do is. I want to replace the stone. I want to replace the stone with with uh, cobblestone. Press OK and replace. You can also swap these. So if you have made the wrong decisions on which you want to replace with what, and press replace. Now you see only the stone got replaced, not everything in the box. So that's an easy way to replace something. So if you have like made like a building of TNT and you think it looks good you can change it to stone and whatever yeah okay I haven't I don't really know what the filter is we're gonna leave that if you wanna know what it is google it import is quite funny you can actually import things you have saved so basically if you wanna do like this you can take this like this sorry import okay. yeah okay you, what you can do is you can select an area I select a quite big area control now you can now I press Control and C. Now I can save this to a uh, test server schematic. So you can rename it to whatever you want, and later on you can load it in another map. So I've actually ha I actually have a search here, which um, which I have saved. Quite nice. This Doom here took me I think three hours to make. So yeah, it's quite nice. It's of glass. So if I want to change the things of this glass, I can just take fill and replace. It's real nice. Okay, next object.
move player this is really easy what you're gonna do is just press here take now I have no players on the server but before you click anywhere on with this thingy with this Minecraft figure you have to select a player you can't press because then you already move the player that is default selected uh, so yeah press here take the player that will be a playlist of all the players that have been on your server then press you can also go to the player so yeah that's quite nice uh, spawn now it basically tells you you cannot place it blah 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 and uh, yeah it's really easy to change the spawn although they will not spawn at this exact spot they will spawn around it so think about that and also you cannot destroy like some uh, I don't know what uh, kind of a uh, small radius around the spawn so also think about that when placing spawns uh, chunk control let's see I, don't, I have no idea what this is select chunk delete okay I have no idea what just happened what did it say did it say this cannot be done okay so basically it's ah, a faster way of removing parts of your map if you re press delete uh, then it will actually save all the information that was in here so you can pr uh, easily press control and set together to make it come back but now it just deletes everything without even thinking of what it is and I think I've done that with this map or I have no idea what this map is I have no idea yeah so that's about it um, I don't think I have a wait let's see if you can you can also place power locks of course uh, boom and then you can oh god there we go fill I think you're gonna find the box wooden box 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 wooden box 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 what is it called it's called chest there we go chest fill now, if I double click it, I can add items to it. So basically, this is unknown item. Here's the item ID, like 64. Okay, 46 TNT. T damage, uh, you don't want to do that, but 64 maybe of the TNT. Damage is how much damage uh, it, uh, it have. So basically, if you make a diamond sword, I don't know what it is, like 74, 70, 71, 72. 81 82 uh, whatever you can set the damage to it and basically you can set minus damage so minus 2000 then it will last really long so yeah that's basically how you use mine edit you can also press here to go to the netherworld there is no wet netherworld on this map I guess because it didn't work and yeah thank you for watching this tutorial I hope it helped have fun creating fun things in Minecraft it's a really nice game Although I haven't bought it, uh, bought it. I might do that later on when the full release comes out. But I don't want to buy a beta. I don't see the point of it, and I don't play that much. So yeah, thank you guys, and see ya. Also in the link, uh, of this, in the description, there will be links to the download of this. And yeah, you need to have Java installed, but of course you need that to play Minecraft. So I hope you have that before you try to edit maps in Minecraft. So yeah, see you guys. See ya. Bye bye.